everything. Right, good day, ladies and gentlemen. This is Evil Pingu from the Two Ugly Gamers. I'm playing Slasher's Keep. I'm just going to do a review on it. I wanted to play this quite a while back, but I didn't have any money. So once I do have some money, but I wasn't working. So I just got paid because I've done a few jobs. And I was like, oh, I'm going to buy a game. So I wanted to play this. This is on early access. It came out on the 9th of February this year. I followed it, the, well, developer on uh, Twitter. And all the stuff I saw there was really good. But the thing is, it's gone so quickly. It's like... Yeah. So, as I said, it's early access. Still bits and bobs work in progress. Love the shell 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 shaded aspect of it and everything and it is quite cool looking it's your dungeon hack and slash delving gearing up and trying to escape we'll explain in a minute right developer damien sclotter and publisher damien sclotter i don't even know i'm saying that right at all this is good, Damien. Good, sir. Good, good. Good, Damien. All right, let's have a look. So we've got... Well, let's have a look at the options. I like this. This up here, around, is awesome. The swords and everything. All right, let's go to options. All right, in the options section, you've really got nothing graphical settings. So you've got look, sensitivity, look. X, Y, Z, B. Look, sensitivity, both. Invert, camera, and that's it. That's all you've got, and music and stuff. There is nothing there to make it more. What you have here is what you've got. You never know. He might want to, people might go. I want to make it better, but it's good. So there's nothing graphical settings you can do to change anything. So let's um, actually no, that's not true, because in the beginning there's um. Resolution and what graphic settings you want it on there. So, it's still uh, just weird. So, that is understanding of seven chickens. Okay, so there is, but it's at the beginning. So, you choose there. You're not in the game. Don't understand, but maybe. So, okay. Let's go to new game. This is your character. You have one. Two. And locked. 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 So you have six characters to choose from Origins. Northerner. Amazon. You don't know. So you've got to unlock them as you get through. You have appearance. So you can have your beard. You can have haircut. Whatever your little picture is. And then you have... I'm going to be the Amazon. You have colour. You can be... A lot of different colours. Red, pink, blue, green, very gold, or that. So let's change what is So this just basically appearance tells you maiden law lawborn. So we'll go with her. And we will change the name. I always put my name, Mr. Evil Pingu. Evil Pingu. And then you've got down the bottom, you've got permadeath you can click on, as we all know what permadeath is. And I've lost many characters in Diablo to that. Or very um, easy mode. So easy, it's easy. Then you have random, so you can randomly generate all that. So let's start the game. Let's get into it. So, how many levels do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We have 11, 11, 11, 11 levels. Level levels, level levels. So we've got 11 levels. 11, 11 levels. Fate of people against love of one. A bargain well struck, you told yourself. Yet, in all this time you spent withering in your cell, doubt has never left you. Can... Betray every be righteous. If you could tell the night from day and you would spend the, them plotting your revenge. Or so you used to tell yourself. The years went 
and took your anger with them. But your yearning for freedom never left you, and you lay in waiting until one day an opportunity to escape presents itself. That's the backstory. You got betrayed. Somebody killed your poodle. Um, Henry, your goldfish, got kidnapped. And you went to rescue him and that was it. Didn't end well, it seems. Alright, saving. Dungeon floor. So, this is number one. So, it has the tutorial, as you can see down there. It gives you what to do. On your left, you have your health. On the right, you have your mana. And on the bottom, you have your experience. Once that fills up, you know what happens. Up the left-hand corner, you have your map. You un well, you reveal your map as you go along into the game or into the dungeon. Um, the lighting and everything and the graphics, I do really, really love the style of this. It's really nice. It's like a change. So, eh. You just break out. It's not really that hard. Just press E to interact with objects. Back in a bit. <laughs> I can't get the keys. So. Alright. Oh. So, this is the thing as well. I played it once before. And before, this simple shift always came out. And this hat did not. So... In this inventory, I think it's random. You get random stuff every time you start. So, I've got this. I've got a... What does this hat do? Plus four armor. Farmer's hat. Uh, and a shiv. Oh, no, I'm going to go with that. So, you've got your strength, dexterity, intelligence, armor, damage, type, speed. Damage, type, speed. So, it's your D&D, nearly. Or a bit more like Hero Quest. Strength, Dex, Intelligence, that's about it. And what's this? I don't know what this is. This is Charge. Strike fast and kill them before they know the fight has even begun. Such an Amazon word. And you'll live by them. Your sprint attack do additional 25% more damage. So well, that's quite cool. It gives you, you've got special abilities. Let's go tab. We didn't tab. So that's got... One, two, three, four, five. I don't understand what that is. Uh, what is that? That's X. X is to get your weapon out. You can you can press the keys or you can just go quite fast little sword there. So it gives you the whole tutorial of what you need to do. I just wish the tutorial would go away now. Uh, you can block as well. Oh, crap sticks. What's that? I can do F. Bag. What's that? What are you? Ah. Oh, it still hits you. Leave me alone. I got rid of his head. What the hell is that? Hatchet. Healing potion. Oh, there's a lot. So, you basically got your loot to boot game. Seven. That. What does that do? No. Minus four. So, give me more. So, you've got potions and everything. You can see my... Can I actually put this down here? No. Put that in there. So... So you've got to think about what you are going to carry on you. So you've got all your inventory slots as well. And it's quite cool. Trousers, boots, magic wand, gloves, necklace, intelligence. And everything. If your intelligence, here you go. Increased da uh, can, uh, increases range and damage or and max HP. Influence item picked up at the vendor. Influences prices at the vendor. Dexterity increased overall crit chance and crit damage bonus and armor efficiency. Strength increased melee damage and knockback and max HP. So you gotta think you do level up and you'll see 
that you'll have to put in points to um, what you doing statue so as you can see the graphics from the monsters is very like old styly very old styly um Ow. So you've got all the have the, have a bag of doom. So what was that? Yeah, they they close behind you. Everything closes behind you. Damn it! Pick up E. Pick up the health potion. So trying to get everything. His head's still rolling around. And what's that? What is that? It's like a bug. Uh Well crap sticks. Come here, you bitch. No, it can't go that way. Oh, how the hell were you in that? So you've got some issues with uh, stuff like that. No. Oh, crap, six. Oh, shoot. you got the, the dreaded... Ah, oh, damn it. Where is that... E. Might be l What's that? The head. So you got like different types of enemies, and he got here is a map. And a tab, and when you get these, it opens a bit more of the map. Or is that the exit? That might be the exit. So this is a wand. So as you got mana, you can as much as mana as you got, you can. I don't know. <gasps> Better not be one of that. How did he fit in that? There's gonna be a devil one, isn't there? Oh, potion. Guild. So there probably is a vendor somewhere. A ven. Oh, ring. What was that? That's his potions. Give me a potion. Oh, so you can break up the scenery. Come on, you. But the problem is you can't see anything. So, you find loot boxes. You eat food. Can't hit them. So, I can't hit them. Can't hit that. And they're explodables. You can explode these stuff. You can push it, you can look around, you can explode. Um, so there's 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11 levels. So it's quite, there's quite a few. And the feel of it, it really is really nice. It's different. You can push enemies against stuff like that. Silver keys. You've got to find, find keys as well to unlock the door where you want to go. And you've got to watch out for traps. I think there are traps in this. It says every dungeon is different. If I walk in there, I'm going to get trapped. I know that. What the hell is that? So I didn't. There's little little things that you got to do. Nothing in there. So F. No. Let's try and get this guy over here and push him into this. There we go, spiked him. So you can use the scenery. Not that easy. E. Find the E button, people. E. It's not that easy to do it. Now let's go have a look in here. Oh, 
does this do? Something's gonna happen. Place an item on the altar and wait judgment. Alright, alright. Uh oh! Ow! What? Right, so they didn't want that. Ow! Ow! So they didn't. They didn't like that. I don't know what that thing is. And maybe it will offer me something if I gave it to. Hang on a minute. So face. I don't know if it does extra damage. Level up. Oh, what the hell's that? <laughs> What the? What the? Oh, 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 That looks nice. That looks very, very tasty. Let's get my mana up and let's get my... So here we go. You get, what, four? That's not what I was playing. I only got three. So what do I want to put? I want to put my... You can put that up. Strength. Um, I'm going to put one in there and one in there. So confirm. To confirm it. So it ups your damage, it does everything, yeah, and you know, there's a demon right there. Right. I'm gonna kill you, you bitch. Well that killed him much quicker. So you will as you play through this, everything's different. You can find different loot and you get money. I think you can upgrade stuff eventually. Once you get more into it. So come on you. Jimmy, what is that orb? Oh, it's a health orb. So, it is an enjoyable game. It's simple. The graphics are beautiful, though. I love the graphic style. Well, how they've done what well, he's done it in style. Style of graphics, so Lord is dead. Ah, uh, get on there. Hoo! Don't you put that in my face. Ooh, what was that? So we got that, we got that, and got that. So you, there is a lot of different loot in this game. And it's early access as well. So basically, there'll be a hell of more ton of stuff to come out. Let's have a look in here. What's this now? Common body armor. It just doesn't look right. Let's get rid of that. I probably could sell them, but I'll just make some room. And what we got? What we got? This door. Strength plus 2. Max HP plus, plus 5.8. Wand. Spawned any better? 15 damage. 11 to 20. 15 to 23. So this one's better. The other cost is down. Right, let's get ready for you and keep this. So, overall, the game style and everything of it is really, really nice. Graphically, there is some glitches, as you can see, that happening. And, why is, and maybe that's to burn them as they go on. So as you can see, it's it looks like your original like kind of FPS game where you had everything just bobbing there. So what is that? What is that? What? What? That that that's bloody small. A bit small, I think. Some of these things should be a bit bigger because I nearly missed that. That looks a bit good. That's just going to have a look in the tab first off. So you get. Journeyman Jarredad Component Gem. 
Your family component can be used to craft melee weapon at a smith. So you get to go to a smithy at some point. So as I'm only just into it, there must be more than, than just 11. 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11. Maybe you find other things. So I'm going to have to play it and see what it's more like if there's more stuff into it. But the first initial, initial go at it. It's fun. It is nice. Actually, let's first of all, let's have a look. So, no. Alright, no. No. That's weird. It had a controller support at the beginning in the. What's it called? In the um, menu, but not in the actual game. Uh, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. So, I would like to see controller support. It would be nice to have that in this, because I do like using my controller sometimes for games. So, I don't have to, like. Because I haven't really got a desk. I've just got this thing that I just put in front of as my kids' table and then just put mouse and keyboard on so then I can play games. That's about it. And then it's got orbs. So, so that there is a few bits and bobs that will be ironed out as the early access goes on. And there will be more content that will probably come out for it. Because it is a lovely style of game. A lovely, lovely game. So, from the Two Ugly Gamers, thank you for watching my semi that just sounded wrong my review <laughs> on uh, slashers keep and if you have any, any questions anything just ask and we shall provide well i will hopefully hard freak as well as some point will as well will 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 well well so thank you for watching drug the gamers this is a review about um slasher keep Still not going to say developers now. I know Damien. That's about it.